We are currently on question 33. Question 33 is a question of matrices. The question says if matrix P has an inverse, P inverse all equal to I have 1, I have 0, I have minus 3, and I have 1. The question says find P. In this particular question, we are given the inverse. P inverse is known. As p raised to the power of minus 1 is known. But the question says I should find p, which is the initial matrix. Recall from indices class that p raised to the power of minus 1 now rests on external power minus 1. According to the rule of indices, when you have multiple powers, the multiple powers will multiply. So minus 1 times minus 1 gives me back 1. That's p raised to the power of 1. And we know that any number raised to the power of 1 gives me back the number. The same concept could also be used in matrices because this is an easier way of finding a initial matrix if you know the inverse instead of using other complicated methods. So we could rightfully say that taking the inverse of the inverse of a matrix gives the initial matrix. So, therefore, we could say matrix P would be equal to the inverse of the inverse of its own matrix that is P inverse. In math class, we do recall in finding inverses of a matrix, let's imagine we do have matrix A. Matrix A is given as A, B, C, D. And we need to find its inverse, let's say A inverse. The inverse of matrix A will be the adjoint of A the adjoint of matrix A all over the determinant of A, which is basically the same as the adjoint of matrix A has a pattern. The elements A and D, the elements on the leading diagonal will be interchanged with chain positions. So I'll have D, A. Now the elements on the other diagonal, which are C and B, will be negated. Their sign will be multiplied by minus. So this will become minus B, and this will become minus C. All over the determinant of A. That will be written as this, the determinant of A. So how do we get the determinant of A? The determinant of A is usually the product of the elements on the leading diagonal or the main diagonal. That will be A times D minus the product of the elements on the other diagonal, that will be B times C. So coming back to our matrix question, we need to find the value of P and we realize that P is actually the inverse of its own inverse. So therefore, let's bring our matrix P inverse. This is matrix P inverse. So matrix P inverse, I would have 1, 0, minus 3, 1. Let's find the determinant of the matrix P inverse. The determinant of matrix P inverse will simply be the multiplications of the ones, that will be 1 times 1, minus the multiplications of the other two elements, that will be 0 times minus 3. Multiplying those two, I would have 1 as the determinant of P inverse. So P inverse, the determinant of P inverse will be equal to what? 1. Now, the question is, what will now be the adjoint of P inverse? What will be the adjoint of P inverse? The adjoint of P inverse, looking at matrix P inverse, the values of 1 and 1 will be interchanged. So I will have 1. Basically, they are still the same, so it doesn't really matter. Now, the values of 0 and 3 will be negated. Now, minus 3, which I have here, will become 3. And 0, which I have here, will be, still become 0, because minus 0 is still the same as 0. So I will still have 0. So therefore, we can say that matrix P, which is the same as the P inverse of P, would therefore become 
from the formula, what do I have here? The adjoint of P inverse, that will be 1, 3, 0, 1. all over is determinant. What is the determinant of P inverse, which is 1? And would you realize that any number divided by 1 gives me back the same number? So this will be the same as 1, 3, 0, 1. And looking at the options, that corresponds with option A. Option A is the correct solution to this question. Did you enjoy the video? Get a prep class tutor today. Call 080-59-811-502 or 90